church here, along with these two guys, Pastor Pablo and Pastor Mo Medina. You're supposed to be up here with me, standing with me. Come up here. Come up here. We have an international staff. Amen. We are gringo American. <laughs> we are South American, and we are very South American. <laughs> Brazil. And we are so glad you're here. Today is a, a great new day. Uh, don't worry about the size. Uh, it's going to grow. I promise you God's going to bless this. We started about five years ago with Pastor Ramon King on full time. We had about 40 or 45 people in a Spanish worship service. He's going to go down and preach to over 1,000 adults right now with another 1,000 of children, preschool, and teenagers. And all that's happened in the last five years. Uh, so we're excited about what's going to happen. That means the bar is very high. We've got a lot of work to do. Okay. But we're excited about We don't have any preconceived notions or expectations except what God wants to do. That's all we care about. Just what does God want to do? So we are thrilled not to have a thousand today. We're thrilled to have you today. We're glad you're here. I want to pledge to you that uh, we are 100% in support of our new ministry in Portuguese. We're going to bring all the resources we have to bear to reach people in Houston who prefer to or need to, whichever the case may be, worship in their heart language. Portuguese and to hear the gospel and the word of God taught in their heart language, the Portuguese. That's our commitment in Spanish. It is now our commitment in Portuguese. So I, I want to pledge to pastor our support, our encouragement. Uh, he's got a day job. He's going to be working, so we're going to do everything we can to support him and help him. And uh, we're so excited that uh, we have the opportunity to partner together. So I want to pray, and then we'll get out of your way and let you continue worship. All three of us are preaching during this hour in three different languages. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. See, I believe that's the body of Christ. We are not one language. We are not one color. We are not one people. We are all kinds of people from all kinds of places who speak all kinds of languages. But we all worship the same God in Christ Jesus, and we are a part of the body of Christ. So we are now, I'm going to say it in English, you say it in Spanish, you say it in Portuguese. We are one church in three languages. Una iglesia en tres lenguas. So let's pray together, and if you uh, don't mind, I'm going to pray in English. And then, uh, Pastor Pablo, would you pray after me in, in, uh, in your language as well, please? Father, thank you for this day and the excitement and the joy of it. Lord, we're grateful for a beginning. We know that you know exactly what you have in mind and in heart for this ministry. You know what you have for Champion Forest to do with regard to reaching people whose language heart is in Portuguese. I pray, Lord, you will release us, empower us, enable us, anoint us to accomplish all you've set before us. You have opened a door before us today, and we walk through it with confidence in Christ, the boldness of your Holy Spirit, and with joy in our hearts. We can't wait to see what you're going to do here at Champion Forest through our ministry in Portuguese. I thank you for Pastor and his heart, for his family. I thank you for each one who's here today in this very seminal moment of beginning. I pray a blessing over today and every day that is to, to come. And I ask, Lord, that you would open up the gates and allow souls who need to be saved to come into the kingdom. The doors will be open in the hearts and lives of people. And that we will see people saved and your kingdom go forward in Portuguese right here in our own community. And we thank you for the blessing to be a part of it. We thank you in Jesus' name.
um ano e meio, dois anos, em alguns casos. Mas a alegria que eu sinto aqui hoje, a alegria não só minha, a alegria dessas pessoas que começaram a... com essa, essa sementinha no coração. Puxa, a gente podia fazer um serviço em português. E existe uma necessidade. Aqui não é uma igreja brasileira, não é uma igreja portuguesa, não é uma igreja romana, é uma igreja de pessoas que falam português. Ainda aqui nós temos muitas pessoas que falam espanhol conosco. Aprenderam a gostar do português e estão aqui. Mas o que eu queria, depois de dar as boas-vindas, muito obrigado por você estar aqui, eu queria entrar ao tema que nós vamos estar falando agora nos próximos dias. A gente vai ter uma série intitulada Encontros com Jesus. Então, nas próximas semanas, as mensagens vão estar direcionadas no quê? A pessoas que tiveram suas vidas transformadas ao se encontrarem com Jesus. Vale a pena... Espero que você, Deus fale com você nessa manhã e espero que você possa.